Hello, welcome to The Handy Guys, and tonight we're going to talk about your first starter toolkit. That's right, your first toolbox, Paul. My daughter's going off to college, she'll be moving into an apartment, and I'm a bit of a tool snob. So I wanted to get the best of each tool possible that you might want in your first toolkit. Right, so you can go to a local hardware store and buy an all-in-one first toolkit. And you know what, we'll have a bunch of those on our website, but... <laughs> it's not always the best tool in each cat. It's handy, quick. It is. You yeah. go and you spend your 25 or 30 bucks right. and you get a, a selection of tools. But All what right. I did... So you want to get a good quality tool and get the right tool for your what you might need to deal right. with in a, your I first think, apartment or whatever. I think this will cover just about everything we okay. need. I, I threw a few things in here, like a little scraper slash nail right. puller, no big deal. But I went with the adjustable wrench, or the crescent wrench, right. as it's known, right? So you got a good quality adjustable wrench, you got your utility knives. I got the utility knives. I got actual Allen wrenches <laughs> instead of normal hex key wrenches. Allen brand Allen wrenches. Allen. And you need these all the time with uh, like the flat furniture you knockdown buy. Knock down And they give you the little crappy one, but if you have yeah. a good Allen wrench, it makes That's life right. easier. So uh, standard and metric. Locking pliers, I got the vice grips. Right. Right? I got a six in one screwdriver. These are a must, yes. Paul, because the ones with the little bits, the short little bits, you lose those. Right, so don't bother getting the one that has 28 bits in one no. because they just, you lose, these are the ones you use 99% of the time. That's right. So. It's got a small Phillips, regular Phillips, right. small, flat, and regular flat, and plus. that's all you need. And plus, yeah, some of them, uh, you know, quarter inch, quarter five sixteen sockets. Right, so these are sockets on the end. Not drivers. Yeah, not drivers, yeah. I got my East Wing hammer. That was a kind of a yep. splurge, <laughs> but a little 12 ounce hammer. It was the only 12 ounce hammer uh, at the particular store I went to. Perfect got for hanging. Yeah. Hanging uh, your pictures and so forth. Of so course, yeah. we've got all the picture hanger stuff in Various there. Various hardware, yep. A decent tape measure, nice wide one. Got some wire cutters in there. Of course, the duct tape. But not any old duct tape. I got you got gorilla, gorilla tape. tape. Yeah. That's extra oh, yeah. super sticky. We're still looking for uh, the, uh, what you need duct tape for. Which I don't know, but answer. everyone says put it yeah, in their toolkit. Yeah. And uh, then I got a socket set. I don't think this is in every apartment first uh, toolkit, but my daughter has a scooter and she knows how to change the oil and the spark plug, and it's the tools she'll need if she's ever going to work oh, on great. that. So that's in here as well. And it, she bought some tape that she thought was colorful. I don't know what she'll need <laughs> that for. But, uh, and a decent little uh, box to put it in. Get some pliers, not oh, yeah. any old pliers? No, these are the channel lock slip joint right. pliers. I actually want to get a bigger set than this because I'm thinking under the sink, drain, inch and a half might right. be necessary. These aren't quite big enough. So I will get those before she heads off to school. So it's not just any old starter kit. You actually put quality tools I put the, in the premium kit. of every one of these, the premium tool, that I thought was the best made that's not going to break uh, or give you fits. Hold on, Paul. We forgot something. Oh, yes, we did, Brian. I noticed this sitting it's here. It's not in the toolbox. <laughs> but you got to, you know, maybe this isn't your first toolkit, but it might be one of the first tool purchases. Absolutely. You're going to want one of these plunger. plungers. Yep. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Excellent. You can check out more details on this kit on our website, handyguys.com. And uh, please keep watching and thanks for checking All us right. out. Thanks. Hello Handy Guys viewers, my name is Lindsay, daughter of Handy Guy Brian and part-time editor for the Handy Guys for the last two months. I'm going off to college soon. Film school here I go. But I have a lot to do before I'm ready to go. First step in my transition was obviously a good toolkit. I hope the Handy Guys help you as much putting together your first toolkit as they helped me. Thank you for watching.